said Sunshine. Look, Sonny, it's not the freighter. When they needed her, I'll be the first to make sure, I'll make sure you're the first to know it. No scream. Sunshine moved away fast. He didn't know his visit to the freighter had been seen by watchful customs lords hidden behind the rocks. As ten cents in sunshine steamed towards the harbour mouth, ten the customs lords caught up with them. Hear it up there, ten cents, he called. Oh, hello, officer, said ten cents. What's up? The lords Customs Lord looks very sternly at Sunshine. I'd like to know what your business is with Johnny Cooper. Uh, Johnny Cooper? Sunshine looks puzzled. The freighter you're talking to out there, said the Lord. So that's Johnny Cooper, said Ted says. I've heard about him. Only asked him if he wanted a tow, said Sunshine. But he wasn't very pleasant. It wasn't being uh, nice. Just tell me to scream. He doesn't want a tow. Is he in some kind of trouble? asked Ted said. John is always in trouble, said the customs lord. It's a pass he could be on one of his smuggling runs into Big City. The stars don't deal in that sort of thing, said Ted Sense indignantly. You know that officer? Just checking in case, he said, something it might be useful to us, said the Lord. Where did you rest him? asked Sunshine. Even anything definite on him, explained the Lord. They can't even search him. It is outside the harbour limits. They've been out there watching him since yesterday. A bit get back. As the custom sorts moved away, Urcho came steaming up. He called out to Ten Cents and Sunshine. You two need to pick up Scottlebunt Pit. to clear the bay in case big ships need shelter. I did say the wind was steadily increasing and the waves were getting higher. Johnny Cooper decided to take a chance to, and move closer to the shore. So he needed some shelter. He pulled up his anchor and cut towards the harbour. But as it passed the rocks, the custom swords pulled out in front of him. By that, off to coming aboard. Johnny didn't reply. Instead, he swung hard towards the tailor lodge. Hey, what's what your where? Johnny Cooper hit the lodge hard. Sending it crashing 
from towards the rocks, then hurried away, leaving it to the mercy of the storm. What did you do that for? Sorry, mate. The wind must have blown me off course. <laughs> In the safety of the harbour, Barry was turning sailor ship plane into a hangar. It's the wind's too strong for her to fly anymore that day. I saw Hercules out at sea, so he was flying in, said Sailor. It's being in the liner, Princess Hellas. I think she's damaged. I better tell the others, said Ira. We'll need all hands to bring in this wind. In the estuary, the storm was getting worse. Zipiter, remembering Captain Zara's orders, was looking for ships in distress. He saw a plume of smoke and went towards it. Costabai and steamed towards it. Batesha rounded the rocks. He ran last to his harbour. It was Johnny Cooper. Well, 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 said Johnny Cooper. If it isn't little Zipper, it's a job for me. Love to Johnny, said Zipper nervously. But if a uh, no buds, snapped Johnny. I did it her fast. This wind's messing up my plans. Move. Zipper fixed the line to Johnny Cooper and turned him into the dishy stock since it hadn't been used for us. Okay, Zip, told Son, no. This'll be safe from the storm and preparing my eyes. No, I need Kerr right away. But Johnny, oh, stupid Zip, quickly, or break your stick, threatened Johnny Cooper. Zip, steamed miserably across the harbour, is it past Lucas Yard and thinking about his little small problem, which wasn't looking at it, it found good to him when he saw ten cents in sunshine working hard. Ten cents in sunshine st struggling with Scuttlebutt pit and heavy barge. Scuttlebutt was getting angry. As the bomb swung about in the strong wind. Come on, you two, he snipped as the bomb smashed against the side, splashing sludge all over his deck. Oh, there, it had since it's a second later, Scuttlebutt had swooned round and crashed into him. Come on, you switches, old Scuttlebutt, get me her. Ten cents will drive it. It's this wind, he said. It's getting stronger. If only I could fix another line. He called shouts of Zipiter, who spotted them first. Aye, Zipiter, shouted. Give us a head. Uh, what? Zipiter stared at him. Just hold him steady, but I'll get another line aboard. And Ten cents. I should I. Asked Zipiter. He looks behind him. <laughs> Son will kill me. Please, thank sunshine. I'll just this once, said Zipiter. He pushed against Scuttlebutt's head, holding him steady. He all ten heads fixed up in another line. There, Zipiter, said Zipit, said ten heads warmly. The sheen sunshine at last got the barge under control. Zipiter, have it away. <laughs>